they, people wanted to go all over the internet and, you know, put all my information all over there, so. It's the people that are speaking that actually made my living situation unsafe. That's crazy. Jamie, I love you. No, literally, like, the, okay, when I first moved here, um, I was sitting here saying everything's fine, da -da, but, like, that's what I really thought, but honestly, I'll be so for real with y'all, like, like, I needed to get it completely together, like, I needed to get, like, carpets and get the furniture and all that moved in and put together and everything, and I was trying to do all of that at the same time while being a mom at the same time, so it was a lot and overwhelming, so I took the executive decision upon myself to bring my kids, um, well, me and NST, when we were together, kind of, like, talked about that together, and we drove, brought them to my mom, or my mom came here, and then picked them up, and yeah, um, we were doing good, we were going to the gym, we were eating right, we got the house together, we got all the furniture together, everything was good, and then his mom stepped in and completely... Yeah. I want to say her intentions were good, but it just doesn't seem like that when she's posting videos all over the internet. Like, you see a mother being taken from her children and you think TikTok Live is the place to go. Why not go inside and, like, you know, hug my child? <laughs> Put the phone down. Seems like a setup. Oh. It's like 1,000 trillion million percent set up. There's a video of me, Litsky, and I'm putting a boot on because I didn't want my heels on. Like, okay. Has no one, like, that is not illegal. There's nothing illegal about putting a boot on just because what, maybe, you know what I mean? Society says don't put it on the gas station, on, maybe on the ground. Maybe. I can agree that's where it was a little while, but my kids weren't around. They were actually at a state with their grandparents, and I was leaving a festival, and I didn't see anything wrong with it. Um, there's other videos, though, that I just feel are very set up, and I kept saying, I feel like something's gonna happen to me, and I kept saying it on live, and lo and behold, yeah, she definitely did, and now this lady is still trying to claim that she has power of attorney over me. So I'm just like, I have to go to the courthouse or something because that's wild. Accept some responsibility. I did. I accept the responsibility that I, in the past, was messed up a little bit. I mean, Caleb first broke up. Yeah, but I took it upon myself to send my kids to my, like I said, grand, their grandparents' house so that I could get the help I needed, which I did. While my kids were gone, I didn't like being by myself and I had people around that were, like, recording me at my lowest moments because my kids were gone. So I knew for a fact that, like, I could get the cries out. So I was crying a lot and maybe drinking a little bit and, um... I was having panic attacks and going to the hospital a lot. There was things that was happening. I take full accountability. My kids weren't around though because I just got out of a breakup and I know myself and I know that like, you know. But then I got right and got my house together and everything was fine. My kids came back and we were on a routine and I took them into bed and we had dinner and all of a sudden I'm bankrupted and all over the internet and so are my children. And like, what? My grandma had to drive nine hours to come get my dog. Um and my kids so it's not just me and my kids that were traumatized it's like all my family my grandparents um my mom um 
like literally all of my family that I have and friends and everyone that I've had in my life like that's like traumatized by it because they have to just watch it on the internet. Yeah, literally, I don't know. Yeah, my baby was scared because he didn't have his mom. What do you mean? His mom put him to sleep and then he wakes up to an officer changing his diaper. Sir, since when was that a part of your job? I didn't know that they, like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know they trained for that and whatever it's called, police school. Um, they sent, they did a Marchman Act. So basically they sent me to get evaluated to see if I needed to be held at a loony bin. Guess what, y'all? All my tests were clean. I blew zeros. They told me go home. They didn't even know what I was doing there. They were like, we actually have people that are actually like, you know, like we don't have a bed for this BS. But they had to look into it because it was by a judge this lady literally had been plotting went to a judge behind my back and was trying to get this done how were they able to send you there it was like it was so nuts that that even happened to me i was crying just on the phone like this lady w was not trying to get my kids back like bunny finally bunny literally was like like that she just had to you know what i mean work through it a little bit but i just want to come on here and kind of clear that up a little bit as much as i could um, I'm gonna make a video, like a personal video. Um, the system is so scary as a mom, I'm so sorry. The system is very scary, um, and corrupted. And right now, the way the world is and society, like having kids is so difficult because like you can never just, you're never doing it right. You're never doing it right. It's, it's crazy. When do I get my kids back? Um, well, me and Bunny are also talking about maybe I need to get out of this area because that's what, it's the people on the internet that posted my house, my address, and made my home unsafe now. Why my kids can't be here. Oh my gosh, she's not gonna make me something. But um, we kind of, yeah, I don't know. Literally her just calling and saying like, you need a fresh start, da, da, da. she's like, basically going to help me get right. Well, get out of this area and um, the industries I'm in and help me with school and everything like that. So I'm really appreciative of that because like, you know, that's gonna make it so I can actually just finally maybe in a year or two, whenever I get done with school and open my business or, you know, the things I wanna do. Um, yeah, then I can be the best me because right now just being on TikTok and working in industries that aren't good for my mental um, isn't good for me, you know, but that's not saying that like I am doing wrong. I'm just, you know, doing mom stuff. Not everyone approves of it, but I'm doing what I do. But I used to be so proud of it and I loved it so much. And it was like, you know what I mean? I was trying to prove to the world, like, you know, you can be a mom and you can still be in the industry, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm older and I have two kids and I want more kids. And I like, you know what I mean? I want a new five year, like, have your plan and hearing from Bunny that she's on my team and has my back through that and to make sure that I can accomplish it is such a blessing so but I do have to you know stay away from boys and stay away from 
just anything that's bad so yeah which is understandable because I wouldn't want to help somebody that you know what I mean it's like How do I feel about Oscar and Dina's? I think it's so wrong that anybody did that without my consent. And not only that, that's something that I've thought about for since the day my child was born because he's made it such a serious thing. So when something like that happens, I wanted to be there. I wanted to be there with my son, um, holding his hand and going through that whole process with him, meeting him, all of that. It was taken from me by this lady. On top of it, I miss my son's first birthday. Like, it's just, it's crazy. Um, NST has reached out and we are on civil terms because I, no. They would have to go to court and do a bunch of things and Stuff like that. They're not. Oscar hasn't been around. He's never even met him. He can't just come out of nowhere and, you know what I mean? Take my kid to Las Vegas. I'm sorry. That's just not how the system works. As much as y'all want to see that happen, he's going to have to do supervised visits and you know, some things, you know? Like. But, yeah, NSC showed me messages where he was freaking out on his mom and he did make sure that my doors were locked and everything like that up there and um he it's sad because when I, I was like younger I used to be embarrassed by my mom as well and I hate I kind of I feel for him because it's like he has his own career he has things and it's like dang his mom like really just put herself out there and embarrassed herself like that and his name's attached to it um as far as like the stuff said about me I feel like he can, I don't think he said, I don't know, I haven't seen everything to be honest. I don't really want to look because it's kind of like sad, but um, it was not her place to do what she did. And she doesn't know me well enough to do that. Um, his mom is this for a reason, I don't think NSC knew. I think she used him to get to you. Um, she definitely, definitely, did and he realized after the fact because she facetimed him and he told me that she was like yeah mm -hmm, like bragging about it and he was like freaking out crying and trying to do whatever because he was like she's done this to me before and he was like i hate that like my mom did that to you he was like just really upset about it um I'm going to have it figured out. So do you see what? Thank you. I love each and every person that is praying for me and my kids um, because and my family that was also affected by this because this was probably one of the scariest things. Like, I've been involved with DSS. I've been involved with, like, you know what I mean? Things have happened in my life, but this right here was probably one of the scariest. I'm just really good at holding myself together because I've been through so much, but it was really scary. Um, my kids did not get taken away, but I, as a mother, am making an executive decision to have them stay with their grandparents because now my address is leaked. People know where I live. People know, like, too much about my personal business that, I, that it, for me, doesn't feel safe for them to be here. So, yeah, and so does the state. If it wasn't for the social media and the stuff that people were posting, putting out there, the state approved of my house and my living and me and everything was fine but yeah because of everything out there like my whole house is basically as well as like let's be for real too many people like it makes it just unsafe no they're not taken i have my full custody do you guys want proof of it like i'm actually not gonna argue with a bunch of people on tiktok i came here to simply just state about 
state my opinion on the situation and give you guys a little update on everything going on and say thank you to everybody who has been showing support and sees the truth and um yeah that's all though I'm gonna make a personal video on my other account. This it was my Fresh Fam account. Um, I didn't realize until just now that Caleb changed it to his personal account, but I'm really hoping that he's just like not gonna be like that and just, you know what I mean? Cause I just logged back into this account and told him to take whatever number he has on it off. Like why would he take this account away? This is my family account that I made. Um, I didn't mess with any of his accounts other than like It was NST. I don't think it was. I think it was mom. I can have my full custody. I can have my kids with me right now. I can have my full custody. But because of the fact that everything that was posted on the internet, I don't feel safe having them here at this house. Um, Bunny had to speak with her, and y'all already know Bunny just knows how to talk to people. So Bunny handled that, and then. Um, I think I'm gonna wise move. Yeah, I definitely am. Gonna, yeah. But yeah, if you're watching this, make sure y'all go show love to um, Bunny for doing what she did because, like, if it wasn't for that, like. Oh my god, I don't even know, y'all. Um, and don't be mad at NST. I'm trying to be civil with everybody. Um, Austin, Brandon, I wish that he would stop posting personal information. I wish he would stop posting about my kids, period. Um, it's like kicking a horse when it's down. But, you know, he never will stop doing that. Um, Caleb, I wish he would just stop trying to sabotage my life and get some anger management, you know what I'm saying? Do some drug tests, things like that, and you could go there, but yeah. Um, we'll see. But yeah, so y'all be nice to everybody, and except for the Christy lady. The Christine lady, report her account, get her deleted, and anything legal um, advice that y'all have for me, DM me, because this lady is off the chain nuts, and I feel like I was a straight, Sh get up. But yeah, I'm about to go get some food and cry some more because I missed my son's first birthday yesterday due to all of this. Yay, my son's very first birthday ever in the whole entire world. And he only gets his first birthday one time. And I was planning it and had the best day I ever planned for him and it was taken from me, literally stolen from me. So that's great. Are in a bad relationship or a bad situation, don't take it as just like, oh, like I can't leave that like because I won't get offered that kind of opportunity you know like regardless of the opportunity or not like it's so more it's so much more like better being without that person so I just hope that maybe me leaving that situation regarding like Caleb and the domestic violence and all that stuff that happened encourages a lot of other people to want to like leave their situations for their kids um, it's not easy at all. Like, you're gonna go through a bunch of, like, mental health things because, let's be for real here, um, like, living in, like, a scared state of mind for so many years and then leaving, like, your brain has to go back to normal and it's, like, I was going to the hospital a lot for panic attacks. There was just a lot that was happening. <clears throat> but... It's worth it. 
I don't like that they're coming out of nowhere trying to act like dad to the ear though because I'm vulnerable and they know that right now I look bad on the internet so of course they're gonna be like I'm out of the ear but like no those cans in the car though um Bunny did take me tell me to take accountability so I will when it's due um The date that those videos were recorded of those, my kids hadn't been around. I'd taken my own leap of faith and trusted my mom, and I let her watch my kids. And um, it's, I don't know if y'all have looked into them or not. I know they're, they're not good, actually. They're, they're awful, but I don't know. I feel like there's worse things people could dabble in, um, but my kids run around and I trust my mom and I let her watch him because I was just like, mom, I'm going to the hospital a lot. A lot of things are happening all the time to me. Um, and I'm, it's scaring me. Like I stopped my meds and everything and the panic attacks still wouldn't stop. I don't know. So people were coming around trying to be there for me and they were looking at me like, oh, she's on something. No, I'm just literally one postpartum to having mental breakdowns because not mental breakdowns but just anxiety attack panic attacks like I was going to hospitals the hospitals were kind of laughing at me here like it's all in your head and I'm just like I was going through a lot it's not an excuse but my children weren't with me so I don't know why they're posting personal things that I did that I'm not proud of on the internet like for what so a bunch of other people can agree that I'm a bad person when I'm not a bad person and I just made bad decisions. Make that make sense. And I know all those people that were speaking on me wake up every single morning and cannot continue their day without a med that I know is not actually needed. Like, it's not needed. Like, they tried to convince me. All of those people actually tried to convince me I needed that but I didn't, I stick to the meds that I don't enjoy taking. I don't like how they, I don't like how they make me feel, but I know that my life goes in a better direction and I'm focused and it contains my problems, I guess, whatever. A D D E R R A L L, but I don't really anymore. Like, my doctor is lowering my doses so eventually I can, you know what I'm saying? But, um, all those people on that that were going crazy on me, like, need to take some accountability themselves and let people know what they take every morning because I've seen all of them. Like, No, I don't want my kids because, not because of like me being a bad mom or anything like that, but it's because of the fact that so much was on the internet of my home, where my kids live, where I reside. There's so much going on that, that honestly where I'm at right now, it just isn't a safe place for them. Um, do I have some clothes? Like, do I have a little bit of a mess? I'm only in my mom, but I mean, I've had wellness checks done nonstop since you guys, not you guys, but those people have been on the internet saying those things and doing those things nonstop. I've had wellness checks and people popping up my house and I'm sorry, but every time they've confirmed that my house is fine. Just a little bit of a mess. They said like, so let me make that clear. Secondly, no food in the cabinets was a crazy thing to say about me when I get food stamps, so. That's wild to even claim that. I'll even admit that even though it's embarrassing because I don't care if that helps the situation make sense. How would I have those and not have food in my house? Like whenever homie had came over here was when I um, had just moved in. So I, hadn't, I didn't know about Instacart, which is what I was using after. But for the first month, Honestly, I paid all my bills and did all that. Y'all know that Caleb was the one that 
I would send to do the grocery shopping and things like that, even though I'd write the grocery list. I was doing the work, Caleb would do the stuff. Like we, if it wasn't for Caleb being abusive, me and him, we worked out pretty well. Like we had a good, sufficient thing. So I had to learn to do all this by myself and pick up the side by myself. And then NSC came around and he helped me a lot with that. And then his mom came around and yeah, but I was honestly gonna post a video like I did with my, to my son on YouTube video of my progress. I don't know if y'all seen the video I posted before, but it was like day one of being single or a single mom, whatever. So I was going about posting my progress, but I was gonna do it on my own narrative where it's like, it's okay, it gets better. Like, and I was, I, I have all the pictures included of me being upset and crying and my house being to the roof in boxes that I needed to unpack and things like that. And I was just gonna put it all out there in my own narrative to show people that it's okay when you leave a relationship that you're not gonna, it's not gonna be pretty, it's not gonna be perfect. No matter how much money you have, no matter like what you do in life, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna be hard. The longer you stay, the harder it is. That is a fact. <laughs> but then other people took it upon themselves to help MJ which, I mean, I needed help building furniture and doing things, so it looked like there was a bunch of males around, but really, it's people that reach out as a friend to help me move things, build things, like, things like that. And I didn't have a lot of female friends other than ones in the industry, which was an industry I was trying to get out of. They kind of make it impossible to get out of that industry. My agent is one that moved me out here saying we need to work and all this stuff. And then I was like, I'll take that as an opportunity to also I didn't make an opportunity to leave Caleb, but we were going through so much before that it was only getting worse and worse that I knew that when we got out here, it was gonna get worse again or it was gonna fix it. And it didn't fix our relationship, it just made it even worse. So then, yeah, I got out here and my agent disappeared. And then he just thought that I moved away and then told me that I needed to get done before I get shoot again. And I'm just like, I'm not understanding. Like what? So then, scratch that, I could still make money, I don't need my agent, whatever. Um, But I couldn't go to work because I was going through so much mentally. Like I was going to the hospitals for anxiety and panic attacks. I never had one before, so I didn't know what was going on. All I knew was like my body felt like, like tingling, like, it was like an outer body experience. It was really, really weird. Like my ears were ringing. I don't know. I was I was sitting in the doctor's office where like me and Caleb had an incident in the past and I had to go there with my kid. And um, I don't know if it gave me PTSD. I don't know what it was, but my body went into this like shock. And I looked at my friend and I was like, I think I'm, I think I'm right now. And they were like, way to make this about yourself. like. Would be selfish, like you need to suck it up. Like we're about to go to an appointment for your kid, like don't be selfish. And I'm like, I swear I'm not trying to be selfish. Like I was like, I'm I'm just not understanding what's going on in my body right now. Like I wasn't on anything. Um I'm trying to explain the feeling of it, but it's like you have to kind of I don't know, maybe like unless you have had it, like you don't know. So it's like so I called the ambulance on myself and the ambulance came to the place I was at. It was just a wellness check. So it, my kids weren't sick. I didn't interrupt my kids' sick visit. They were well, they just needed to have a checkup done. Um, I tried my best to like go through it as much as I could, but it was really hard. And um, yeah, I called the ambulance on myself because I didn't know what was going on. And apparently they said it was a panic attack and they told me I have chronic panic attacks. Um, that either they'll go away on their own healing from the relationship or um, I have to talk to a specialist and get on medication for it or something. But like, yeah, a lot was happening to me that y'all don't know about. But if I were to talk about what it just made me look like a bad mom, but really it was just like, I don't know what to do when your whole entire body goes into shock. Like, what do you do then? Um. So they gave me nothing for it. They just let me kind of sit in the hospital 
with my kids until it was gone. I was just like, what? And it just slowly went away. And then I went home with my kids and I was like, okay, I don't know what that just was, but that's never gonna happen to me again because I've never had that happen before. And then I'm sitting in the house by myself. I've never been, I haven't been home alone in Florida without Caleb or anybody in so many ever, I don't know the last time. And two kids, it's like so much to think about, so much responsibility, so many, th there was just so much that I was just like sitting there and I started, it started happening again. And then this just started happening over and over in my life for like a while. Like I was sitting on the phone with my mom and people and I'm just like, like shaking, like rocking and they di they prescribed me um, anxiety medications that were helping but then I didn't want to be dependent on them so I stopped taking them and I just kind of went through them they went away like they come and go in spurts still I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest but like you're a great mom we all go through years it's public yeah I feel like being the fact that I'm publicly a mom makes it a lot harder to be a mom but um yeah so I called my mom and I was like, I don't trust you because you've tried to take my kids multiple times in the past, but I really want to pray and hope that you are, you do have my best intentions and that um, you aren't gonna try and take my kids from me and I can trust you to just really just be there for them right now because I need someone that I can rely on that can be there for them because I'm going through something that I can't explain. Let me put my phone on. And my mom's like, she didn't know what to do. She was just on FaceTime watching me, and I'm just, I had like the baby bottle in one hand, and I'm trying to turn TV on for Princeton to keep them occupied. And I can't explain to my kids because they're too young. And I'm just like, like screaming, crying, like right now, how I am on live, like, mom, help me. I'm just like, not screaming, crying. I'm just like, mom, like, help me, like, because I had to keep it together for my kids, clearly. Like, you know, I can't be sitting there crying or telling a four-year-old I'm having a panic attack, he's gonna be like, um, what is that? Even though it's really weird, but ever since Princeton's been born, y'all, like, anytime I've had a panic attack or something like that, I don't tell him, but it's like he knows. And Princeton will literally walk over to me and be like, it's okay, mommy, just breathe. Like, you're fine, just breathe, mommy, da 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 And I'm just like, how are you so young and like, like literally he was two years old and Princeton would hold my face and be like doing like breathing exercises with me. I'm like, what the heck? I don't know, he's literally my little angel. So that's why I just tried to hold it together as much as I could humanly possible because I could not imagine losing them. I'm sorry, but I just, I couldn't imagine ever losing my kids. So I'm like, I have to hold it together. I have to keep it together. I need chargers that I have to do right now, too. And I tried my best. It was really hard. And um, I don't think people even understand how difficult it is to keep it together when... You're like two shambles. And the person that you love is gone because they couldn't get their life together. Hold on. Like, I'm sorry, but Caleb, I told him to please for me. Like when he was here in Florida, I was like, we can go, we can co-parent. I just want you to get some anger management and get on some medication for your anger management because you put your hands on me and my kids for too long now that like, it's to a point like I can't trust you alone with my children. I told him I would pay him child support anything to not go on the internet and say bad things about me you're trying to make me out to be something I'm not. And he didn't want to take that. He said, no, we're not gonna break up, be for real. So what, you can call me and we can come right back. Anyways, now he is being, supportive it's just like he took my family channel that i liked more than my own channel and archived all the videos so he had a tiktok account because me and check were petty and when we were hanging out we like got his live band but it's because he was going live and saying bad things about me like i'm about to tell my story and, da, da, da. and i just didn't want my kids on the internet perceived any type of way other than at all 
Like, I just don't want my kids on the internet unless I post them because they're my kids and I raised them and I've been the one taking care of them and doing everything for them nonstop since the day they were born. So there's no reason why anybody else should be on the internet speaking on my children at all, ever. They don't have, they don't get a, they're, it's not, it's literally so rude. So, anyways, um, he took my family channel account, messed my bank accounts up. Like, there's so much, like, I couldn't even work. I didn't have an ID. To, so I had to re-get all of these things back in order that were taken from me. Um, on top of it, then check comes around and does the dirty stuff that he did to me. I don't know why, if he felt there was such a problem, he would wait months or anybody in the situation that was speaking on the internet so concerned would wait months to speak on it as a mom i don't care who you are um if i just don't feel like what you're doing is right i'm gonna do something about it right there like you can kick me out the front door and i'm gonna stand at the front door until something's handled because i'm not gonna leave those babies alone with you but for some reason these people kept coming to my house time after time they also spoke good about me on the internet, defended me, all of these things, and then randomly months later decide that they're gonna take it upon themselves to be concerned for my children and their well-being? Or was it the fact that I took it upon myself to cut these people off because they gave me very much like vibes that it, they weren't right, they weren't good for me, and I got this intuition whenever they would come around that was just not good. So, like, people around me kept saying, like, cut, you need to cut certain people out of your life, da da da. And I just felt like maybe it was a sign. So I took it, and as a sign, I just, I cut off these people, and now they're concerned for me. If everything that they were saying was so true, they wouldn't have kept coming to my house, being around me. I already took accountability. You're late here. Took accountability at the beginning of this live. You should have been here at the beginning of the live. Like, that's not what friends do. That's not what people do. Bunny has not gone on here once and told y'all half the things that she's done for me. Um, NST hasn't even gone on here and said half the things that he's done, even though, like, me and him aren't even in good favor right now. Like, um, the real ones, the people that I actually do trust in this situation are the ones I feel like are the that have gone on the internet and not tried to, you know what I mean, get hyped up for, oh my God, I did this and this and I tried and I tried and I, poor girl, da, da, da. They're just trying to like, say basically, clear up the situation, get people to like, find a new topic to talk about and move forward, that's all. But, I mean, I am staying single, it's kind of like, part of my healing process right now. Bunny is gonna play a big role in helping me, so we're appreciative of that. I'm painting right now because I'm trying to de-stress because I can't see any more things on the internet y'all tagged me in. I just wanted to kind of jump on here and say my part because y'all have made this like perspective of me ill AF. When I was already gonna post all of this, I was gonna post my whole healing journey just like I post everything else. Like I was never ashamed to post when Caleb broke my windows. I was never ashamed to post any other time that I've taken an L in life. And I was gonna do it this time too, just on my own terms once I was finally done. But maybe it happened for a reason because now I get to go to school and that's a lifelong career. That's something that I've always wanted to do. That's something that is longevity for me and my kids. Therapy, psychologist, all the things that like I wanted, to, I've always wanted to do, but I've never had the right guidance or support. Um, Bunny's giving me the opportunity, so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just work on myself. Um, I was already trying to before, I just don't think I was doing it the right way. I think I thought I was doing it the right way, but I wasn't. And I was also, still stuck in a relationship that was terrifying. Like right now, Caleb's like, 
bragging about his two stuffed animals from Bigo and I'm like, you could send them to your kids. Like, I don't know. I really hope that my mom actually has my best interests and doesn't do anything without my permission. But yeah. So I really hope that this lady like doesn't do anything to me again because she's still threatening me and I feel bad because now she's threatening her son. Um, literally telling him that if he doesn't defend her and take her side and post stuff about me or whatever, like that she's gonna paint crack down. I don't even know, but if anybody um, watching knows legal stuff and can get this lady to get a hobby, let me know. Yeah, last time I ignored her, I ended up in the nut hut. Um, they threw mashed potatoes on me in there. There's this really lit girl. I liked her a lot. She, like, would go, I can't even say the word on here, but S-T-R-I-P-P-I-N-G, up and down the hallways. Like, she was crazy. She was lit. But being in there made me realize I wasn't. Um, it made me feel bad for the people in there because it made me feel like, I thought that I was when I was having anxiety and panic attacks really, really bad, y'all. When I thought that I was having those panic attacks and like my body and ears are ringing and everything was happening and I was sitting in the hospital, I was like, maybe this is what, maybe, I was, I was started to believe the internet. My lawyer um, even said that I, he was convinced I was starting to believe the internet because he's like, we've gone through this plenty of times with the internet, they've always involved your children, you're not, stop believing it, like you're good. But sitting in the nut hut made me look around like I'm not, but all the things I went through and like, you know what I mean? I, it made me feel so bad because what did they go through? Or like, what is it that, you know what I mean? They're like that and I just felt so bad. This one girl was saying like random things and like, honestly, I loved her. Her soul was just so pure. Like she was just like, I like clouds. Clouds are fluffy. Isn't it so cool that we all, all the nuts are in the hut together? Like, and she would just say the most random things. And I don't mean to make this, I'm trying to make this like a happier moment. Cause I mean, I've been crying nonstop for so long, but um, I don't know. I was just kind of like, dang girl, like I want a friend like you. You would like, you know what I mean? Like you would never go to TikTok and make me feel bad about myself because you know what I mean? She's in there fighting her own demons. I don't even think they're demons. I feel like the crazy people are actually the good people in the world. And the Karen, quote unquote, normal people, those are the people that need the help. Um, I need to get a restraining order. Had me running it so close. I think we honestly have like a soul tie. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Like, she's always said like for years that I remind her so much of herself when she was my age. And she's told me about the things she's gone through and it's like crazy because she tries to keep me from going through them and then I just keep going. Like I relive like her experiences. She's like just seeing through always like everything on the internet and I'm just blessed to have someone like that in my corner because like, if not for her, I don't know probably where my kids would be all. I don't know what would be going on. I don't know. They could be with their, with Oscar and Caleb who I don't believe they should be with at all. Like they could be, I don't know. There's so much that could have happened, but Bunny literally just took a situation into her own hands and handled it and took care of it and protected me and my kids. And for that, like, there's, I don't even know how to repay that, like, honestly. Like, she genuinely, like, saved my children. And I'm sitting in a nut, uh, just listening to everything on the phone go down, like, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this is nuts. And like, you know, she, she her name is so, I've had so many friends who, once her, like, her name was already big before, but it's like, I mean, obviously huge, like, now, like, she's just only gonna keep getting bigger, she is, her and Jelly got their thing going on, but 
normally that's when they don't they don't want to be involved in like the stuff on the internet and like stuff because this is like some Jerry Springer and like it's just you know I didn't know that she would I felt I mean I knew she would she's always been there for me but that's why I didn't reach out because I didn't want her to have to be tied to this because I love her that much but she took it upon herself and I got a call from the hut and she had just like fixed everything in like two seconds and I'm like how I don't know but I don't even know how to even repay that um but yeah